and outcry can become deafening. Why haven't you sent me the job of my dreams? I turned my life over to you. You promised abundant living, but I'm struggling right now. Why haven't you sent me <sighs> the exact companion of my dreams that also happens to perfectly love you? <laughs> Boy, sometimes we ask for a lot. My Lord, I don't know. Some of y'all are like trying to imagine Michael B. Jordan mixed with Bishop Jakes. I better continue. Why am I still broke, Lord? Why am I struggling in my health? That's a big one. I don't feel my best right now, but the prayers of the righteous avail of much. <laughs> Why don't I have any true friends that stick closer than a brother like your word says? Beloved, I could go on and on, but I'm not going to continue. The list can seemingly be infinite with regards to what our reality may seem like as opposed to what our expectations are from the faith. And I'm not saying that it should be easy. I'm not saying that it's not a suffering. I'm not saying that it's not hard sometimes. That's the exact point of what this sermon is, is how do we continue to push forward? when there are so many things that the believer has to endure after accepting salvation and the expectation of hope that doesn't seem to align with abundant living, man. How are we supposed to, man, you got people, what, what's the common saying and Tyler Perry made it even more famous with one of his early movies and plays? I can do bad all by myself. Why do I need, you know, there's people that, people that are living in sin, peepers too. There are people that are living in sin and that are struggling without any type of faith or whatever like that, man. But it's like to add the fact that we're supposed to believe that the Lord is with us and it seems like that we're running neck and neck with trial with people that's in the world. How are we supposed to survive some of the stuff that we go through as believers and still believe in the promise and the hope of our salvation? This may not be for you this morning, but it's for somebody. Somebody's been thinking that very exact thing. Well, I want to let you all know right now, we're going to hit you with seven common cycles of trial that those that are in the faith should and will expect in life. Once again, I give the disclosure. You may come up with another 22. These are seven common trials that impact not only the lives of every member of mankind,